how to enable PDLS Plus. Uh, so first you want to select the front camera, the combi instrument, the headlights, and then the BCM Vaughan. Um, this is all in German, so uh, I believe it's front camera, uh, instrument cluster, headlights. You may have to select LED links if you have LED lights, and then front electronics. Uh, so we're just switching to that. So once you click next, it will then identify the control modules, which is what's happening now. Uh, we then switch to the coding and programming tab at the top. Uh, from there, we choose manual coding and then hit next. Also note, I am using the Porsche Diagnostics free tool, um, which most garages who work with Porsches will have, including uh, workshops that are not Porsche dealers so just shop around or speak to a few local Porsche uh, specialists um, you may also be able to do this with a launch x431 but I can't confirm uh, so from there we just need to select the year we ne need to select the model type which is ticked so it's easy to choose the correct one uh, from here we just scroll down the list and choose PDLS plus which is the 8G2 option um, the 8G2 option gives you the high beam assist, uh, which you don't get on the normal PDLS. Uh, so make sure you choose the 8G2 option. Uh, from, from once we've selected the 8G2 option, I just simply hit it next. Now what's happening is the diagnostic system is going off and coding the relevant control modules. Uh, so the codes are all correct for the lighting system in order to enable PDLS plus and high beam assist. Uh, I am using a virtual machine and I'm also using this in simulation mode. So uh, mine won't appear with ticks, um, but if you're doing this on a live car, you will see ticks appear uh, rather than the exclamation mark in the inner circle. You will now see that the coding has been completed and it showed you all the parameters that have been coded. Uh, so we just hit next again and that is it. You should now have PDLS Plus enabled.